Yeah. 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 Y
Okay, so actually before I start pretending you like to see, I'm going to show you a few other options that Synergy has. Um, there are some cool options right here called Take Text. You click on the down arrow. Um, there are so many different options to uh, take the text. This is also really helpful when you come in for PDF. Um, because PDFs have a like, random hard break and um, sometimes it's very strange formatting. It's just pretty annoying to pick. So, um, there's different options here. Uh, take text, which just takes out all the formatting. It's all the time to run in size 10. Um, this one gets rid of all the returns, so it's just one large block text. Um, this one takes with the URL. Um, and I'm not going to spend too much time on that because you can uh, find that out. I explained it in the last lecture. And you can also um, just find it out. Excuse me. Um, these options are just a way to just a different <coughs> underlying. Um, they're Again, these are things you can find out about. Here's the coolest part, I think, of Synergy, are these different formats of things. Um, so the first one is re uh, reformat and default, uh, template default. Um, so if you have um, someone else's uh, template that has a really messed up the formatting in your document, if you hit this, it uh, changes all of the uh, formatting back to Synergy default, whatever you set it to, um, or actually what Google Cloud has put it to. Um, so that's pretty cool because it just makes it all exactly the same. Because some people are pretty open to be like me, I can't have you know, like different text, size text, or anything like that. It's really annoying. Second option is remove blank pages. Um, this one not as important if you're completely paperless. Um, but let's say uh, some people on your team are paperless and some people are paper. Um, this function is really helpful because you don't want to uh, print a bunch of blank pages. So all it does is just remove every page that has no text on it. Um, and just so that puts down the pages, like the puts down the pages that you break when you actually do this. Through hyperlink, uh, it's really dumb. Uh, <laughs> these two, uh, we'll talk about in a second. Uh, this one I think is pretty cool. Uh, the warrant. Um, a lot of people who have problems with uh, this is big, are kind of scared that it means that we won't have uh, the ability to write, you know, write the warrant type of article, um, which I think is really important too. <coughs> Uh, what this does, it uses, uh, if anyone's familiar with it, the uh, mark, uh, mark changes function of Word, but you can click on it and you actually, so like I have a card right here. Um, if I go to warrant and then I want to add a warrant, uh, it shows up like that. And I can write, uh, as long as I, I, I wrote a card, but, uh, you can write out the warrant to the card, and then that will be next to you during the speech um, or whenever you're extending the evidence during the debate or something like that. Similarly, to get rid of it, you just click right here. Uh, and I both like um, Page header, update to a content. Those are kind of self explanatory. Page header is the thing that's at the top of the page, uh, and that's not every single page. And then there's only single content. <coughs> Alright, so I guess okay, so now like I said I'm doing earlier, I'm gonna talk about preparing a speech in uh, Word. And this is the part that is uh, I think the biggest difference between Whitman and Synergy. Um, but I'm pretty sure that they're uh, almost identical, the only difference is the hot keys that you use. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the synergy ones, but uh, I'm sure that you can find it out in your the Whitman template is essentially the same, except there's, in the Whitman template, there's no delineation between what speech doctor opening when you open the page, it doesn't say 1 in C, 2 in C, 1 in R, 2 in R. You just send it what you have selected to a speech doc, and then you can say what you want. Yeah, exactly. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you how to, uh, prepare a, a speech in the debate. Um, the really important part I want to show you that most people are not familiar with is the tilde key. Um, it's this thing right here, the arrow. Um, the tilde key is really important to Synergy. I think the YouTube says normally use it or like anything else, right? Um, so that's really important to like know where it is. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, so the first thing I want to show you is let's say the first thing the QEC says uh, on my flow is that it's not unique. Uh, the policy says that it's not unique because Obama, uh, or because there is partisanship in Congress. So I'm going to click on the document now to find that section. I'll just, I'll just go on the 
Alright, um, so I'll click on that section. Um, and then here's the tricky part. Really pay attention real quick. Um, so you click, if I want this whole thing right here, you click right before the heading, or header. Um, and then you hit the tilde key. Very important to touch it. Um, and all you see on this page is that it just highlights everything um, from where your cursor was until the next block heading. Okay? So, cool thing though is that when I did that, automatically it pasted it into my speech document. So there's not any of this switching back and forth between the two documents. Okay, card, and okay, which one? Anyway, so you can just pretty much keep all of your time uh, with your flow next to you and then your computer uh, and you just click on these things, you can get them all in order very quickly. You can be as efficient as possible in prep time, save most amount of time, you know, work on writing out warrants, stuff like that that you had before. Uh, so I'll show you again. Uh, let's say I wanted a link card. I would have placed the cursor before the heading, hit the solo key, and then it's in this document. In a speech to make See? Um, you can also, let's say, um, let's say I just only want to have this card. Um, this card right here is the copy card. Um, that's the only card I want to move over into my document. Uh, so you can do the same way that way. Uh, you can do the, you can get into the speech shop in the same way. Uh, but what you have to do is just uh, highlight the card. Um, and then hit hold up. Um, and it does the same thing. Uh, and then it's right there. Okay. Um, so, there, are there any questions real quick on that? Can you then cut and paste two That's a, you know, change the order. In other words, I want that in front of me. Yeah, that's, that's a little tricky thing um, that kind of you're going to mind that's up on the list as far as giving them to David Payne tablelessly is that the tilde key, whenever you use the tilde key, it will paste uh, wherever you had just, what you had left, had left, uh, had your cursor. So let's say uh, I was like looking at this card and I'm like, oh, this card's really good. And I'm going to highlight it right here. And then I'm like that. Uh, and then I push back and I'm like, oh, I need, a, I need this link card. And then I hit the tilde key and I'm like, going on? And then I... <coughs> I find out actually the card was seated where my cursor was, which is in the middle of that, which would be, you know, kind of embarrassing flash on usable, right? So uh, make sure you have your cursor key where uh, the cursor wherever you want to be pasted. Uh, so yes, in this document, uh, you can just uh, you know, move it around. Uh, let's say I want the link card first, I can just do this, control X, and copy and paste it up to the top. Mm -hmm. So do that. Paste it up there. Um, there's also a way uh, in the widget <coughs> split uh, to, I say I don't have, I have synergy dollars, so I can't show you exactly, but uh, what you can do is you, if you have like a, like a heading, like a block highlighted, uh, you can do control all and then up and down, it moves the entire block up and down in the document to put it in the correct order, which is pretty helpful. And uh, I'm pretty sure that Google Cloud is working on a way to make that happen in Synergy. There's, um, there 